Hey there, future scholar. It's Aman from Gyanthar. Back with another comparison video between two education loan titans. One is Credila and other is IDFC First Bank. Wondering which one will fuel your dreams best? Stay with us till the end to discover the ultimate lenders for your education abroad. IDFC First Bank is a powerhouse in the private banking sector of India, while Credila is a specialized NBFC focused solely on education groups. Though both are regulated by private institutions and share similar loan policies, some crucial differences could completely change your decision. As your education loan expert, I have pointed these crucial differences. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started. Difference number one, bank versus NBFC. The most difference distinction lies in the battle of bank versus NBFC. IDFC First Bank is a prominent private bank while Credila is a leading NBFC specializing in education loans. As a private bank, IDFC First Bank has its unique terms and conditions. They have pre-approved university and college lists for countries like USA, Canada, UK, Australia, Netherlands, and France. Dividing institution into platinum, titanium, and gold based on factors like applicants' GRE score and course. In contrast, Credila, a subsidiary of HDFC Bank, covers over 1,000 universities across 35 countries. They offer customized loan option tailored to the applicant's course and country preferences. Credila is the only NBFC in India that provides tax benefits under Section 80 for non-collateral education loans. This allows borrower to claim a deduction on the interest paid for up to eight years, starting from the year the loan repayment begins. Difference number two, loan quantum or simply put loan amount refers to the maximum amount lenders are willing to offer as education loans. Each lender sets their own limits for both loans with and without collateral. First off, IDFC First Bank can provide up to one crore if you secure your loan with collateral. On the other hand, Credila being an NBFC can sanction up to 1.5 crore for collateralized loans. For those opting for an education loan without collateral, IDFC First Bank offers up to 75 lakhs, but only for the platinum category, while Credila can extend up to 75 lakhs more based on student's requirement and profile. Difference number three, interest rate. Interest rates are a very important factor for borrowers since they determine the total repayment amount. Like the loan amount, interest rates vary based on whether the loan is secured with collateral or not. Collateral based loans typically have lower interest rates because they are secured with the provided assets like a house, flat or fixed deposits. In contrast, non-collateral loans usually come with higher interest rates. For collateral-based loans, IDFC First Bank offers interest rates starting at 9.5%, while their non-collateral loan rates ranges from 10.75% to 12.25%. Credila, however, provides slightly better rates starting at 10.25% for collateral loans, ranging from 11.5% to 11.25% for non-collateral loans. Difference number four, processing fee. Processing fees are the service charges that banks and NBFC levy for processing your loan application. Typically, this fee is a percentage of the total loan sanction amount. For instance, if you are sanctioned a loan of around 30 lakhs, the processing fee is 1%. You would have to pay 30,000 plus GST as the processing. So let's compare. Both IDC First Bank and Credila charge between 0.75% and 1.25% plus GST of the loan amount as the processing fee. So it's the same. Difference number five, repayment tenure. After your loan is sanctioned and disbursed, banks provide a repayment period during which you can pay back the loan amount and interest through EMI. This repayment tenure includes a moratorium period during which you can skip EMIs and only pay simple interest. 
Typically, the moratorium period lasts up to the course duration plus six months or a year. Before I compare, I have a cool fact for you. If you opt for an education loan from a public bank like SBI or UBI, you can enjoy a full moratorium period where you don't have to pay anything. The interest calculated during this time will be added to the principal loan. Now comparing the repayment periods of Credila and IDFC first, Credila offers a generous 15-year repayment tenure, while IDFC First provides a 12-year repayment tenure. Well, those were the top differences between IDFC First Bank and Credila. Each lender has its own pros and cons, so there is no definitive winner here. The right choice depends on your unique needs. To help you make the best decision, here are some common scenarios with the ideal lender. If you need an unsecured loan with a higher loan amount, then Credila is a perfect choice for you because they can go up to 75-80 lakh for more number of colleges. Not only they offer higher loan amounts, but they can also increase the loan amount based on your profile. For those seeking lower interest rates and processing fee, IDFC First is the ideal lender. They offer competitive rates and our team at Gyanthan can help negotiate even better terms for you. If you have scored a GRE score of 310 or more, IDFC First Bank should be your go-to lender. They offer benefits like better loan terms, lower interest rate and processing fee, as well as favorable repayment terms during your moratorium period. And that brings us to the end of today's video. If you're, if you're still unsure whether Credila or IDFC First is the right lender for you, don't worry, there are plenty of other options available. And Team Gyanthan is here to help you find the perfect match. Connect with Gyanthan today and we'll help you compare our 15 different lenders in one go. Sounds too good to be true? See for yourself, click the link in the description to check your loan eligibility for free right now. If you found this video informative, be sure to hit like button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.